parents all across the state tonight. About a dozen schools were put on lockdown after learning of threats with students and teachers as targets. Now, in many cases, the threats were posted on social media, and in some cases, arrests were made. Now, Fox Eyes Denise Dillon is live in Sandy Springs tonight. Denise, a middle school boy faces charges there. Yeah, very serious charges. This boy is 12 years old. He's a student here at Sandy Springs Charter Middle School. Police say he made threats against other students last night on Snapchat, and they were able to trace those threats back to him today. It said, you better not come to school tomorrow if you don't want to get shot up. That was a threat. Police say a 12-year-old boy here at Sandy Springs Charter Middle School made on social media. Police say it was a Snapchat video with him holding a cut out of a gun, a threat that now has the boy facing serious charges. Terroristic threats, which is a felony charge. Since the mass school shooting in Florida, there have been threats at schools across North Georgia. Numerous schools on lockdown, panicked parents racing to the schools fearing for their children's safety. In most cases, threats were made on social media. In Rockdale County, this man, Derek Belcher, was arrested after deputies tell us a Facebook post said there was an active shooter at Conyers Middle School. It's not a joking matter. Sandy Springs Police Captain Forrest Bohannon says threats like these are nothing to laugh about. Kids maybe are thinking that it's a joke or maybe a way to get out of school, but we as law enforcement have to take every threat like that seriously. Travis Gilbert says kids may not understand the consequences. A lot of these kids are using it to vent out on their own versus being able to talk to somebody about their frustrations. Paul Schwartz has two kids in school. He says all he wants is for them to be able to get an education without having them to worry about guns in school. It's terrifying having children um, because I want them to be safe. I think they should have a safe environment to learn.